and liftoff. Godspeed, it's ever and crew two. The crew is go for ingress, and you can see <laughs> Aki is the first to ingress onto the International Space Station. We're so excited to be here. We're ready to get to work. There's a lot of uh, great science, and uh, we're just excited to learn and get started. The experiment that's taking up most of my time right now is called Celestial Immunity, and it's a really interesting experiment that involves looking at immune pathways. And I have an expert that's looking over my shoulder via camera, and she can talk with me kind of step by step as we go through the process. That looks good, Megan. All right, thank you very much. I'm sure I'll be talking to you again tomorrow. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> Recently, I've been working on a really interesting educational experiment it's called the blob. It's that, that uh, crazy monocellular being that has no brain but can learn uh, and can actually search food and solve mazes. It's, it's pretty contained on the space station, don't worry about it, it's very tiny. Uh, but so we, we're, we're working on all kinds of endeavors like this and every day, you know, brings its, uh, its uh, lot of discoveries on the space station and that's very exciting. We're tracking a full and good deploy of that solar array. So well done, both of you. It is beautiful. We're in a season now, actually, of doing cargo ops. We have two spacecraft that are attached to us that brought us cargo, and now we're packing them back up to get them ready for departure. Well, on board the International Space Station, we do help out some of the development of uh, medicine. Without gravity, you get uh, larger chunks of pure protein crystals. What we're looking for today are needle-like structures. Perfect, there they are. Well, it is a fantastic view that we have. We see the thin layer of atmosphere that's protecting all of you down on Earth. So just taking care of our planet has kind of been a change, maybe mentally, from seeing it from this perspective. We are growing some chili peppers in the plant habitat here in the Japanese experiment module. It's one of the more complicated things that have been grown in space, and so they do take a little longer to come to fruition. So we're really hoping that we get to try some peppers before the end of our mission. Over the years, the capabilities of the laboratory have expanded and grown, along with the interest in doing this kind of research in low Earth orbit, which I think is really remarkable. So we are really kind of at the peak of that, I think. And so we've seen a little bit of everything, right? We've done um, human immune system research, so lots of research into medication formation, um, fluids research, combustion research, even robotics research, this huge range of different things that we've gotten to touch during our mission. And the way science works, as you know, is this is the building blocks for stuff to come. And so the re results from these experiments will come out in the years to come, but they will also be the foundation of experiments that are designed in the following years. And so all of the research Research is going to be stuff that we get to say, oh, we had a little part of that. We got, we got our hands on a little bit of that, which is a pretty neat feeling.